So the next step says to create a path for the air. Um, and it says that the air channel must start somewhere inside the balloon connector, since that's where the air will be coming from. And the air channel can end wherever you think will provide your car the best boost. And while building the air channel, it will help to know a couple of tricks. You can make the body transparent and lock it so it's not selectable. Um, doing this allows you to better position the air channel inside of the body. So the step one says to go to the shapes drop down panel, which is over here, and select the community shape generators. So shape generators, and it's not labeled community, it's just featured. So if we click on that, um, and if you scroll down, um, it says to find the purple bent pipe and drag it onto the work plane. So we drag it over, drop it. And it says, while this shape is selected, you will see a number of settings that can be changed in the inspector panel. Um, set the outer pipe width to three millimeters. So we're gonna click that drop down menu and it says outer pipe width. We're gonna click on the slider and type in three, like it tells us to, which made our purple bent pipe much smaller. And then it says to use the sliders for the other settings to adjust the other settings to create an air channel that creates a path from the back of the car to the balloon connector. And then when we're happy with our air channel, we can design, select um, the shapes and make the channel and group them together. So first I need to bring this object over and center it on my car over here. So before I do that, I do have this little bit of cone shape sticking out underneath. So I just wanna make sure that when I'm aligning it, I make sure that it doesn't align with the bottom of that. I'm gonna drag my work plane, drop it on the top of my car here. And I'm going to then um, click on my uh, tool here and hit D so that it aligns it down with the point of that part of my plane. Um, I'm going to drag my work plane back down, drop it on the ground again. And then I'm going to click on my two objects, highlight them both, and click my align tool. If I click directly on the red object again, then it centers um, all of the alignment around my red object. So I want to center it in the middle of my object here, and I want to align it with the back of my car. Now, if I rotate, I can see that it's aligned with the cone. So I'm going to click off the object for a moment, click on to the top, use my black arrow at the top, and lower it down until um, there is no longer a gap there. And then I'm going to go ahead and group those two shapes before I do anything with that purple beam. Now, it said that it's easier to see if it's transparent, so I'm gonna click on the red up here and come over to the corner and make it transparent so I can see through it. And now I'm gonna go back over to my purple pipe, and it's clearly not laying in a position that I can use. So I'm gonna click on this and type in 90 so I can rotate it so it's um, facing upwards. Now you can see it's not quite the direction that I wanted. So I'm going to rotate it actually a 180 so that it is facing upwards. And since it won't go exactly the way I want, I'm going to type it in. And then I'm going to make it into a hole. And you can see that it's facing um, sideways with the car here. So I need to rotate it so it's facing out the back. So now I'm going to rotate it um, through the side 90 degrees. I can just type it or I can slide it, but I did get 90 the first time, so I'm gonna leave it there. Now I'm gonna highlight both shapes and I'm gonna use my align tool and I'm going to click it onto my car so it comes to where my car is. I'm gonna center it in my car. I'm gonna align it to the top and then I am going to scroll to the back here so I can see um, where it's located uh, in the middle of this. Now, um, I'm going to then click off of my shape and click just on the hole, and then use my left arrow key to center it in the middle of my, um, my space here at the top. Now, if I rotate around, you can see that one of my problems is that my hole is gonna go right through the axle. So now what I need to do is I need to raise my bent pipe up so that it doesn't go through the axle. 
And I want it to be sort of towards the middle of my block here, but enough room that my axle is not going to be in the way. And I do like the idea that it's kind of towards the top so that when the air is pushing out, it's pushing directly backwards. It's not forcing me up. It's not forcing me down. Um, and then it's putting that pressure on the top of the car rather than the bottom of the car so that it doesn't make my wheels jump. So I'm even going to lift it just a smidge more here to keep that pressure on the top of my car facing downward. And now I'm going to go ahead and highlight both objects and go ahead and group here. And you can see that now my hole is created through my object here. And I am finished with that next step. And it says that I can continue. There's another possibility. You could also um, change the angle of your vent pipe and create a different pattern for your tube to go in case Maybe that's not the best placement for your tubing or your airport the first time. You might change um, where it's located or how big it is for the next go round. So think about that for round two.